gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, Jimmy B, mortgage originator, specializing in VA loans. And today, once again, I'm gonna tell you what not to do on a VA home loan benefit. First thing that I want you to know is simply this, keep things stable. Don't change a whole lot. Don't make a whole lot of moves. Why? Because it could end up resulting in you literally not being approved for a mortgage loan. Now, Jimmy, how do you mean exactly? Well, the first thing that I want all of my veterans to know is, well, I don't want you applying for any new debt. Good to go? So do not apply for any new debts during the qualification period. Because simply stated, if a mortgage originator who specializes in VA loans checks your credit, right, they're gonna use all of the liabilities that are on your credit report to approve your loan. Now, if you go out and apply for a new loan or credit card, they're going to get notified. They're gonna get notified, they're gonna say, you know, Joe Smith had an inquiry on his credit report and we're gonna come back to you and say, Joe, did you get a new loan? And Joe might say, yeah, I did. Well, now we have to get the new paperwork and information and pre-qualify you with that new payment, which could end up skewing your VA loan residual income or your debt to income ratio, which could have an adverse effect or impact on your ability to qualify for the VA loan. So obviously we want to avoid that at all costs. What we don't want you to do is change jobs. Do not change jobs. Now, if you get the opportunity of a lifetime and you are getting ready to level up, I'm certainly not the one that wants to hold you back from doing that, but just know that that is going to require a tremendous amount of paperwork, right, to be able to verify what your new income is, the hire letter, et cetera, and certainly what you don't want to do is make a move from a W-2 position to a commission-based employee because what that would do is, is it would reset the clock for qualification, meaning this, you'd have to wait two years in order to be able to use that commission-based income to qualify for the loan. Continue to make your monthly payments in an on-time fashion. Do not have any late payments on any credit cards. This is the time where you want to safeguard your credit report and remain even more vigilant with your credit than you usually do. So I'm gonna say this here, don't, for the love of Pete, miss any payments, okay? Why is this so important? Because if you did, this could adversely affect or impact your credit report, resulting in your score to go low and possibly jeopardizing your loan approval. Good to go? That is exactly what we don't want to happen. Sometimes I'll have veterans, they'll reach out to me and say, I have a large cash deposit. Large cash deposits typically want to be avoided. Why? Because cash deposits cannot be used as money in the bank unless it can be properly sourced. Jimmy, how do you mean exactly? Well, I sold my auto loan, right? I've got the bill of sale. Okay, good to go. That $10,000, now I can document it. Here's the bill of sale. You can use it as reserves. But Jimmy, I just had $10,000 laying around in the house, I put it in the bank, and now I wanna use it for a VA loan and the cash to close. The VA is not going to allow us to use that. So how do you avoid that? Well, it's called seasoning. Seasoning simply refers to that money is sitting in your bank account for 60 days in advance, and you will not have any large deposits when submitting your paperwork to the department, or I should say to your mortgage originator, and when they see it, or they won't see it in this case, that's going to save you some time, energy, effort, and hassle and make sure that your loan is streamlined from start to finish. Good to go? So these are just a few things that I want you to be aware of and certainly what not to do once again so that way you could arrive at your final destination which is that goal of home ownership on time. My name is Jimmy V. If you have more questions about this stuff, know that I'm always here to be a resource for you. Talk to you soon.